Welcome to the first episode of the Building Academy. The school has just started and I hope many people are here for the first lesson with the topic of how to start building. So some of you uh, requested it uh, last year. So I was thinking about how you can do that and for today uh, we'll be talking about the placement. In the next weeks we'll be covering also um, how to actually build a house in the style of Glacian. Then how to finish it off and adding details and atmosphere. And last but not least another teacher will tell you about um, interiors since I'm not that good at it and it's a very complex topic. So what we, what we will do today is that at first um, you will have to make a project for the next five weeks. And in this project um, you will um, build a house. So you have to find a spot, so I will give you a spot, you have to find figure out how to place a house and how to build it. So I think that's kind of nice. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, I will tell you some tips and tricks how you can place your builds and how to make your builds make sense. So that's very important for me and I hope you are of the opinion of mine. Alright, then I would say let's start with the project and have fun by building. Alright, we are standing in front of the academy for those who didn't recognize that. Um, now you will search for a decent spot to build your project. And therefore we can make a little trip um, down to the harbor area. So right next to the academy and the river. And therefore we are passing this area which perfectly shows uh, the importance of buildings. So placement of buildings. So as you can see here, it's so close together and it makes like a maze. It's like a maze and looks really cool I think all those roof endings and different layers so that's what you want to achieve by placing the house so I will later give you some more examples of placing the house and here will be your spot where you will be building so good luck and I hope you will make it meanwhile um, I will give you some tips and tricks so you can place your houses in a good way so see you in a sec so the first uh, part we're gonna have a look at is a market square and for a market square it's important that you have not a circular shape um, you have a more undefinable shape so what that means is you're gonna make your square but you don't uh, use for example those uh, cylinder comments from welted it or boxer sniper you just build by hand it's more useful and trains your hand of course so what you want to do now is to look, um, where is the main entrance for my market square? In this case it's this bridge, so you have to go over the river here to actually enter the market square. And there we got this eye catcher in the middle, so in this case it's a, a statue. But you can also pull, uh, build a fountain or a big tree, so it's up to you. And all around the market square you're gonna build houses or whatever you want. So if you're building houses, it's important to have official houses next to the market square since this is a place uh, where many people will be and will, it would make sense to have a more official house. So this could be like town hall or library, how I did it, or just other things. And to film the uh, yeah the other parts, you're gonna build residential houses or storage facilities. So there you can see a residential house, and I think that's our storage facility. So two connected houses are the storage of the goods from the harbor. And here it would make sense to build it right next to the water with some docks, so the ships can actually. Uh, be here and the they can carry it into the house at uh, this market square i did it kind of different so here you can see a bullet on a kind of a plateau 
and that is accessible by stairs here and um, where is it um, here so you can walk up and by doing this you can access the market square and by walking to those parts uh, you can see that it's kind of narrow at those parts to create this um, LA feeling so you're walking through LA on those white main parts you can see the fountains um, for example and many market squares and of course greenery greenery is really important for those parts and all around you can see buildings that are placed close to each other to kind of uh, separate it from the other points so you already got those um, narrow part um, parts so it's just one block um, since here's the door but just one block to walk through so you can't really see anything from the outside so on those stairs are narrow as well so you don't want to make like a big stair uh, just for a small market square uh, that wouldn't make sense so make sure you're placing your bolts close to each other but also that you got those um main parts where many streets are coming together and that are big uh, big wider so actually sunlight can go through because if you just have those parts it could get really dark so that's why I have those nice lanterns everywhere and try to make it a look used so maybe include those um, welds um, to make it feel alive so you will, you will hear that more often so another thing that is really nice I think is that you have got on a wider part so like this market square here and you're able to see a um, main parts of your city so like at this part you can easily see the building academy which is cool because it works like an eye catcher so if you're coming out of this gate here um, you come here out and you will look up up there. So you definitely look up there. You're not looking to the statue or to anything else. You're looking up there because it stands out. It's not just wood; it's a uh, stone. It's very really stony. And I did the same here. So you kind of want to place your bolts where they're gonna stand out. Same here with the um, prison. You've got everywhere wood houses and maybe there's um, docks here in the sides. But if you're flying up this uh, river or um, on a boat, uh, you will see this prison. Um, so you want to make um, things stand out. So you break up the pattern. Because it's not nice to see just um, houses. So if you look at this, it looks awesome on the one hand because there's everywhere snow. But you will look at this, um, you will look at this part where the stone bricks are used or this um, castle. So that's what I wanted to mention as well. So to come back to your project, um, we're walking um, yeah, to your bullying place. And here you can also see the importance of um, yeah, bullying placement. So you got those nice... Um, elevation change and different layers and those roof endings are over the street so you have to place your balance well to make it look awesome and atmospheric so let's see what um, the bull team has done so far so what I can see from here is a builder um, yeah crane to lift up their goods uh, they've done a foundation uh, which is nice because it fits to the main um, yeah, bullying um, theme so there is in my style the opportunity to just um, use the wood part so without the foundation but in this case it wouldn't make much sense uh, since every bull is built like this and you kind of want to fit the theme so they did this really good um, so then they built the frames on top and actually started to build some walls 
and I did the frames and at the frames um you can see that they've thought about it so in my style um I think you can see that here really good um you're starting at this layer and the house extends um so many blocks so three blocks in the the house extends three blocks outwards on three layers so you're gonna have to keep that in mind while you're building your frame so because you're if you're not and you build your house um here it would um get together to this house and it would look weird and it would get too dark in the alley at, at the end so you're gonna have to keep that in mind while you're placing your build so if you're playing your build make sure that you keep in mind that the house goes outwards so they um kind of solved the problem by building the house different than usual so they didn't build the house frames on those um, sidewalks they built more inwards so i kind of did a modular shape so what that means is um you've got your frame room so the first uh, wood layer um and then you're gonna build your uh, frames up and you're gonna do that like you have got some rectangles and you build them on top so you kind of put them together like tetris so on the end it looks like this so you can see that pretty good at this house i think so the house has got those two rectangles and then I built another rectangle and so actually it was my assistant but uh, let's say it was me. So um, another rectangle was built in so and here's another one so it kind of uh, matches up to a house. So you want to connect those rooftops together. Another thing you can see it really good is here. So here we got a roof ending, here we got another. So all go into this uh, rectangle at the end. So that's the main part here. And then we've got other um, parts going in from the outside. And that's how my builds and pretty much every build is um, made of. So I kind of want to keep that in mind. So let's move back to placements of buildings. So the last part of the video is about um, placing your balls uh, with sands. Uh, what that means is that you can't place a palace in a poor district or you can't place uh, such a small house um, in the middle of your city. So your houses have to make kind of sense. So I'm here at the moment at the harbor area and here you can see that we got like small houses that are kind of uh, protecting the city from the view from the ships and give a first impression but on the other end a bit higher so you've got this um, vault uh, that are accessible by those streets I got the real um, yeah rich parts of the lake here. so for example this in here makes sense because uh, people who are arriving at your harbor um, will need something where they can sleep if they haven't got a friend there or something else so they're pretty much going into the inn and try to find a place to sleep so this would make sense for um, the guy who has an inn another part is um, also on the harbor area that you got storage facilities so you got a crane and on the other side you got the dock so the ship uh, will be here and the uh, people are carrying all the goods into the cellar or up to this point where they can lift it up into the house so that's really important to keep that in mind that you have to um they ask that it well the city has to uh, make sense at the end also this tower here it's um for protected so it's for protecting this canal and river uh, that there aren't um, ships going on there are on the one hand um, yeah, uh, an enemy or too big for the canal to fit through um, also those bridges um, 
you should actually keep in mind that I should, should go through it. So these parts um, are like you're able to put them down so your ship goes through uh, the canal so you can't use like a big ship as you, as I did it on the harbor area. What you also should do is that you put um, storage facilities everywhere where chips or cards can easily be. So on market squares um, for example or right on the uh, river here. So I did both. Uh, with those two houses so they're kind of connected on the one hand on this uh, market square and on the other hand on this river so that's pretty useful so you can also um think of this um party so it's another example of this uh here we got um the guy who is a fisher and he's able to um Go with his boat like from up here. Um, uh, put the fish on some chests or wherever he puts them, and is able to drive again uh, somewhere else to get more fish. And also, this academy. Um, in war times, it was used to protect the um, inhabitants of Glakim from enemies so they were able to walk this path up go in and they're protected so it's put on a, a hill which gives you a nice position to defend your castle but it's also protected by um, houses so you're just able to walk up by this uh, little path so you can easily put traps or uh, your defenders there and you're kind of safe and that's how you place your building so that's the end of the lesson i hope you learned something if you've got any questions um ask me in the comments and i will try to answer you everything you want also feel free to leave some suggestions uh, what you want to see after this project if you like and if you don't like this idea so that would say everyone is dismissed see you in the next lesson and bye bye